The Dallas Mavericks had one of the most underrated offseasons of all teams in my opinion. They locked up Kristaps Porzingis to a 5 year max contract and he will form one of the best young duos in the NBA with Luka Doncic for many years to come. However, the Mavs also made some under the radar moves that will help them see a big improvement next season. They were able to sign DeLon Wright, Seth Curry, and the gold Boban Marjanovic to team friendly deals. Resigning Maxi Kleba and Dorian Finney Smith were also great moves as well, and it's looking like the Dallas Mavericks have a very good team that could actually make a run at the playoffs next season. Let's go over the Dallas Mavericks potential starting lineups and rotations, how their new players fit on the team, and predictions for their record next season. For the starting lineup, I have DeLon Wright, Luka Doncic, Dorian Finney-Smith, Kristaps Porzingis, and Maxi Kleba. Off the bench, I have Jalen Brunson, Seth Curry, Tim Hardaway Jr., Justin Jackson, and Dwight Powell with Boban Marjanovic seeing minutes in specific matchups. So first, let's go over the Mavericks starting five. Luka Doncic will run the offense for Dallas and he was fantastic last season. With more work and a year of NBA experience under his belt, he should take a big step next season. I think that big step would mean decreasing his turnovers, which is something he struggled with last season, averaging 3.4 a game, and also improving his shooting percentages. I expect to see a big jump with Luka's shooting numbers, as Porzingis and the Mavs' other options should help take some of the defensive pressure away from him. Last season, teams just focused on Doncic given that Dallas didn't have many other good options around him, and we saw Luka get double and triple teamed multiple times in games. This year, teams cannot afford to do that as if they double team Luka, he has the vision and passing skills to swing the ball to the open guy, which in this case would be someone like Porzingis who can score from anywhere on the floor, or Curry who is one of the most dangerous shooters in the NBA. The Mavericks just have so many new and upgraded players that should definitely help Luka a lot next season. But the big story next season for the Dallas Mavericks will be how Kristaps Porzingis will play. Porzingis is coming off an ACL tier from two seasons ago, and he will look to get back to his former self with the Knicks. People may have forgotten just how good Porzingis was when he was healthy, as he was a legitimate number one option on a team who can get a bucket whenever he wants. He's a very good three point shooter which helps space the floor for Doncic and others, and he's a great finisher at the rim given his incredible length and athleticism. He'll get to play with another star in Doncic which should take some pressure off of him, as he didn't get a chance to play with another up and coming young star like Doncic with the Knicks. I think it will take Porzingis some time to get back to his old form, and I think the Mavs will likely put him on a minutes restriction early on. However, I think by mid-season he will likely be around 90% of his former self, and if he is, he will provide the Mavericks with a 20 point per game score who provides great rim protection on defense as well. For some of the Dallas Mavericks new additions, I really like the signing of Seth Curry. He signed a 4 year, $32 million deal, and he should provide some great shooting and floor spacing off the bench. He'll be relied on to provide a scoring spark off the bench alongside Tim Hardaway Jr. when the Mavs starting unit is having trouble getting some points up. The Dallas Mavericks also signed DeLon Wright to a 3 year, $28 million deal, and he should start next to Doncic. Wright will likely defend opposing point guards, but on offense he's more of a combo guard and will play more of an off ball role. Doncic will be the primary ball handler, and Wright should provide the Mavs with a solid secondary playmaker and scorer. He does need to improve his 3-point shooting to be a good off-ball player though, as he shot only 29.8% from 3 last season and if he can do that, he will be a very useful piece in the offense. Don't expect him to put up big numbers, but he should provide the Mavs with a steady presence on offense and a versatile defender on defense. And of course, Boban Marjanovic signed a 2-year, $7 million contract with the Dallas Mavericks and he should provide some instant offense when needed. I don't expect them to play in every game, as teams with small ball lineups will run him off the floor but against traditional centers, his size may be too much for them to handle. He won't get pulled out to the perimeter against traditional centers, and his size on both ends of the floor makes him a huge mismatch against everybody except probably Taco Fall. I could see him getting around 15 minutes per game in specific situations, and when he plays he's definitely very fun to watch. Overall, the Dallas Mavericks will be one of the most exciting and fun teams to watch next season. I think they'll see a big improvement in the number of games they win, but the problem is that they are in the Western Conference. If they were in the East, I could see them getting the 5th seed, but in the West they will be fighting for a playoff spot. I just can't see them being better than the Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets, Jazz, Rockets, Warriors, and Blazers, so they'll be in a dogfight for the 8th spot with the Spurs, Kings, and Pelicans. I see the Dallas Mavericks finishing with a 44-38 and record, 
and just missing out of the playoffs with a ninth seed, but they're going to have some big seasons in the future. And you can be sure they won't be missing many more playoffs with Doncic and Porzingis leading the way. So that's a wrap. Thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also, follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business, or have any video ideas you want me to do. Let me know as I do try to get back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on your predictions for the Dallas Mavericks next season. Let me know as I do real comments. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. So with all that being said, once again, thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you soon for the next video. Peace.